Hi, I'm Ian and welcome to the Sante Business Owners Orientation. This is the second most important training that you must attend to start your Sante business right. Why is orientation so important? Imagine yourself as a new student on your first day of school. Things are going to be different from what you've gotten used to. The classrooms, teachers, and subject will be unfamiliar. The policies won't be the same too. You'll need to be formally oriented for you to understand and know how things are done. You'll have a similar experience with starting your Sante business. I'm here to help you answer some of your most important questions. Let's get started with why, or specifically, why Sante? Now you probably had a different question in mind. Most people ask how to get started. We'll get to that in a minute. Right now, it's important that we discuss why it's worth your time and effort to engage in Sante. Why Sante? Because in Sante, you can learn to create and sustain extra and residual income. Earning extra income through retail is simple because Sante offers up to 50% discount on its products which are in demand, proven effective, and highly consumable. But it doesn't end there. Sante can also give you residual income. If you're hearing this for the first time, you're probably wondering what's so great about residual income. Residual income is the ability to get paid over and over for the work that you do one time. Did you hear that? You'll work on it once, but you'll still get paid even after the work is done. Now, isn't that awesome? There are very few businesses or industries that pay you residual income. Residual income in Sante is income you continue to earn based on the percentage of all the products consumed and sold by all the people in your organization. Why Sante? Because in Sante, you can be your own boss. As an employee, you follow a strict work schedule, you work a certain number of days, arrive at a set time, stay until predetermined hour, and work for a set pay. By having to work a certain number of days and hours, you are limited to when you take a vacation, spend time with family, or do any other enjoyable activities. Likewise, working for set pay limits the type of home you can afford, the type of car you drive, even the clothes you wear. Being your own boss gives you the freedom to set your own hours and work as many days as you want. You'll have time to attend your child's school functions, spend more time with loved ones, travel, pursue hobbies, or anything else you want to do. You'll have a schedule that fits your lifestyle. Why Sante? Because in Sante, there is freedom. In Sante, you can have the freedom of time. Time freedom means getting up whenever you want to, going on vacation when you need to, spending as much time as you want to with your loved ones, eating and sleeping when you feel like it, or going to the movies or the spa on a Wednesday afternoon. Time freedom means not stressing out. Having freedom of time lets you slow down, relax and appreciate life, your environment, the people around you, and the world in a much deeper way. When you realize the value of time, you automatically become wealthier. Time is what we really strive for, and we definitely don't have enough of it in a 9-to-5 job. It takes a third of your day, 5 days a week, and in many cases, even more. Time freedom means you can spend your time doing things that are more meaningful to you, like changing the world or helping people live better lives. Not only does Sante give you the freedom of time, but it also helps you achieve financial freedom. You've probably heard of the question before, what would you do if money wasn't an issue? Have you ever thought of your answer? If you have, then you've already imagined what it would be like to have financial freedom. Being financially free means that you can enjoy the lifestyle that you want without ever having to work for a paycheck again. In other words, money is no longer an issue. It's the freedom to be who you really are and do what you really want. By now, you're probably wondering, how is this possible? How is Sante able to help me earn more even while doing less? How is Sante able to give me the chance to live the life I truly want to live? To answer your question, let's now talk about how. In Sante, you can apply the law of leverage. Leverage is one of the most used words in the field of business and finance. The word leverage comes from the French word levier, which means to elevate or to raise, to give a minimum input that achieves maximum results, or the ability to gain more with less resources. Leveraging is defined as the ability to multiply your time and effort through others. One good example of a business that applies the law of leverage is McDonald's. Meet Ray Kroc the founder of one of the most successful fast food chains in the world, McDonald's. He started in the state of Illinois by selling food that was served fast and hot off the grill. 
instead of the usual restaurant food that at that time took too long to prepare and was often served cold. Many people liked what Ray was doing. Ray knew that in order to make a profit, he had to serve as many people as he could. In other words, he had to sell a lot of hamburgers and french fries. Instead of just selling from one store, Ray knew exactly what he had to do to sell more hamburgers and french fries. He needed more stores in many different places. But because he could only be in one place at a time, it wasn't just more stores that he needed. He also needed more people to partner with him and operate those stores. It was then that Ray Kroc decided to stop selling burgers himself and instead focus on finding new people whom he could partner with to open more stores. This was the birth of the McDonald's head office and its franchises. At that time, he thought it was a brilliant idea. Every time a McDonald's franchise store would make a sale, his business partner who owns the store would make money and so would Ray. Eventually, Ray Kroc expanded its McDonald's business not only in North America, but also all over the world. So anytime a McDonald's store anywhere would make a sale, Ray Kroc was making a profit. Using the power of leverage by multiplying his time, money and effort through his franchise partners, Ray Kroc was able to build his fast food empire. According to Forbes magazine, McDonald's now has 36,899 branches worldwide, with each franchise selling 75 burgers globally per minute. As of 2016, McDonald's total revenue is 24.6 billion US dollars. So what do you think? Is the McDonald's business model viable? Based on experience and how McDonald's continues to grow today, yes it is. But before you get too excited, there are some things you should know. Because the McDonald's business model will only work if, if you have a huge amount of money that you can use as capital. To date, a McDonald's franchise would cost 1 to 2 million dollars. Now that sounds like a lot of money, don't you think? Of course, alongside having to spend that huge amount to start your business comes with a huge risk. To top it off, for such a huge capital and high risk, you would need to have a lot of business experience to operate and manage your business. Not to mention the stiff business competition from both small business and giant corporations. Still there? If you are, then you're probably asking, what do I do? I'd really like my business to make a profit grow and become successful. But is there any other business out there that will let me use the law of leverage to get best results? Which business do I choose? How can I start? If you're asking these questions, then I've got some really, really good news for you. Worry no more, look no further, because with Sante, I've got something really special. It's just like McDonald's, only better. McDonald's earns from retail sales of its customers. Now that you're a part of Sante, you can now earn from selling Sante products to your customers. You make instant profit anytime you sell Sante products at a suggested retail price. But don't just stop there. Now that you're in Sante, you can do the same thing that McDonald's head office does. You can sign up new business partners to sell even more products. You make an instant profit for every new partner you sign up as part of your organization. You also make profit anytime those people that you sign up sell or buy Sante products. Did you get that? Let's review what we've talked about so far. You earn from selling to customers. You earn from signing up or sponsoring new business partners. You also earn every time the people you sponsor sell or buy Sante products. Just like McDonald's, right? Good, but why stop at good when things can get even better? Are you ready? I need you to pay attention. So far, I've shown you how Sante can be similar to McDonald's. What I'm about to show you now is how it gets even way better. The growth of McDonald's depends on its head office. Only the head office can look for new partners. Everyone else's job is to sell products. This is how Sante is different. Remember those people that you sponsored into the business? They can sell products and sponsor new business partners too. Every person in your organization can sell products and sponsor people who can do the same. See where this is going? Imagine earning every time anyone in your organization sponsors a new business partner or sells a product. Now that's a lot of money, don't you think? With this kind of system, where a friend of a friend who knows a friend who knows another friend can also become your business partner. It's not hard to imagine how your organization and your income can just explode exponentially. Imagine what would happen if you sponsored 5 people who sponsor 5 other people and this goes on until the 10th level. Assuming everyone in your team buys just one box of pure barley every month. This is what can happen to you. 
you start getting a small amount that eventually becomes something really big. Aside from earning big income, here are some benefits of doing the Sante business model. You don't need a lot of money to get started. Unlike other businesses that cost millions, you can start your Sante business with minimal capital. With Sante, you're not at risk of losing money from your investment. And because you don't lose money, you don't need to borrow money and go into debt. Starting your Sante business also does not require you to have extensive business experience or expertise. All you need to do is follow a tried and tested system. Alright, so let's review what we've talked about so far. We've said that Sante is a good business because you can start with minimal capital. You're not at risk of losing money and you don't need to have business experience to start. But have you ever wondered what makes Sante the best business out there? Sante is the best business because like a champion thoroughbred racehorse, Sante has four strong legs to carry you to the finish line and bring you where you want to go. These are company, product, compensation plan, and system. As a company, Sante is strong and stable backed by more than 50 years of combined marketing experience. Sante's products are proven effective, in demand, and highly consumable. Its compensation plan is generous and proven safe for long-term business. The Sante back office is powered by the Big League, a solid IT support system. The Sante network is powered by Engage, a simple, effective, and highly duplicable system for building business. These are the reasons why Sante is the best business for you. Now it's time for us to talk about what can stop you from doing your Sante business. The one thing that can stop you from doing your Sante business is fear. Fear can be described as a false evidence appearing to be real. A Sante business owner who is overcome by fear is unable to do anything for his or her business. The most common fears of new business owners are the fear of the unknown. What people don't know scares them. This is why people are afraid of the dark, afraid to talk to strangers, or afraid of going to new places. It can be frightening to do the Sante business, especially if you don't have an idea about what this is. Then there's the fear of rejection. If you felt being rejected before, you know that it doesn't feel good. Whether in life or in business, people try their best to avoid being rejected. New business owners are afraid to hear the words no or I'm not interested from the people they invite to see their business. Because of this, they end up not telling anyone at all about their Sante business for fear of being rejected. And then there's the fear of failure. We were taught before that failure is bad. Most new business owners are afraid to fail in their Sante business. Because they are afraid to fail, they end up doing nothing at all. If you're feeling afraid to do your Sante business, I'd like to encourage you today. Your largest fear carries your greatest growth. Fear is an integral part of life. It's a natural reaction to be afraid of something that we believe to be dangerous. In specific situations, it keeps us from harm, right? We don't put our hand near a flame for fear of being burned, and that's a good thing. That's its biological intent. It's part of the reason our species was able to evolve and flourish. But just as it helps us, it can be our biggest obstacle. It becomes easy to see everything as that flame that will burn our hand. We fence ourselves in, we create a comfort zone because a comfort zone is safe. And because of this, we miss out on some of life's greatest opportunities. Most things worth having live outside of our comfort zone on the other side of fear. Everyone deals with being afraid. It's who we are. The difference lies in how we handle it. 
quoting Peter McWilliams, he says that fear is a part of life. Whether we're bravely overcoming obstacles or hiding away scared, we all still face fear. What it comes down to is the decision to attack that fear and grow or to run from it and suffer. To allow fear to limit the life you lead day in and day out. It's been said that a coward dies 1,000 times. A brave man dies but once. It's funny because you start to hear these things so much that they come across as cliche, right? Fear is the great barrier. How many times have we heard that? But when was the last time you woke up and did something about it? Made an effort to do exactly what you're afraid of. Put yourself on the front line. Put yourself out there. These are the experiences that shape our character, where we prove to ourselves that, hey, maybe it's not so bad. Realistically, the worst that could happen is that you don't meet expectation. It's that you fall on your face. In which case, you pick up your pride, you look yourself in the mirror, and you get ready for round two. Because round two means you come back more prepared, knowing what to expect. That's why it's been said that even if you fall on your face, at least you're moving forward. Eventually, you'll adapt. This new challenge will become part of you. It becomes okay. It becomes comfortable. And look, just like that, you've expanded your comfort zone. Now you can move on to the next chapter. So remember, the people you admire, the people who have done great things, lit the path for us. It's not that they weren't afraid. It's that they used their fear as a tool for growth, not a crutch. It's part of the reason we have such awe and fascination with the great minds of history. Imagine Neil Armstrong looking back one last time before stepping into the spacecraft that would take human beings to the moon for the first time. Jackie Robinson suiting up for his first game with the Dodgers. The American colonists signing the Declaration of Independence. We don't think about it often, but just imagine if these people gave into the fear they must have felt overcoming these obstacles. What would we have? How different would life be? So my ask of you is that you find a way. You find a way to get to the other side of fear because that's where dreams become reality. It's where your world can change if you just allow it to. Fear affects all of us. Don't let fear stop you from doing what you have to do. It's what you do even while you're afraid that really matters. It's about transforming fear into action. The first action that you can take towards overcoming your fear is gaining knowledge and mastery of your business. The best way to learn all about Sante is by completing the Engage Cycle. Not just once or twice, but at least five times. Attend and participate in the Sante Business Presentation, the Sante Business Owners Orientation, the Sante Product Training, and the Sante Systems Training. Knowing more about your Sante business does not only dispel your fears, it also makes you a better business person. Success in Sante happens when the right person meets the right opportunity and does the right actions. Aside from business knowledge, here are the ABCs or the building blocks of a strong and successful Sante business. A stands for attitude. Zig Ziglar once said, Attitude, not aptitude, determines your altitude. If you want to succeed in business, just as in life, you'll need the right attitude. A positive attitude towards your business, your partners, your situation, and the challenges you face will bring you a long way. A good learning and listening attitude is what you should develop to master your Sante business. B stands for belief. Building up your belief is very important if you want to succeed in your Sante business. You want to be able to build up your belief system so that you are 100% confident in who you are and what you are doing. Believe in the company. Santa has been in the business of helping people live better lives for the past decade and will keep on helping more people in the years to come. 
believe in the products. Sante's barley-based products have passed the test of time and are proven effective. Use the products. You will be more effective and credible if you're a product of your own product. Believe in the system. The Sante back office system is up to date and reliable. Sante's network building system Engage is simple and highly duplicable. Believe in your mentor. Regardless of age or personal background, your mentor has the advantage of experience that you can learn from. Believe in your business partners. Your business partners have strengths that they can share for the growth of your team. Believe in yourself. You are capable of doing great things. You have talents and abilities that you can share with your team. Believe in your creator. Your creator made you for a purpose. You are here in Sante today not because of chance or luck. Trust in the promise of your creator. Blessing is in your future. C is for commitment. Commitment. It's an agreement with yourself to take full responsibility for your dreams in life. It's more than just being interested with what you do. When you're just interested in doing something, you do it only when it's convenient. But when you're committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results. The most common excuse that we make up is I can't. But if we are honest with ourselves, I can't actually means I won't. We use the word can't when the process involves fear, inconvenience, or sacrifices that we are not willing to endure. Oftentimes, it's those things we say that we can't do that will take us closer to success. They are the things that we must do. Make something a must, and it not only becomes a priority, it becomes possible. You cannot be a believer until you see your old life and the misery thereof and want to change it. Are you committed? Because without commitment, nothing happens. If you don't learn to give like you learn to get every area that there is not reciprocity, it will die. Reciprocity. What do you give back for what you get? If you're not committed, you're not going to make it. Even the ones with the personalities you don't like. You have to be committed through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment. You have to believe in the we and the us and not the me and the you. Or you're not going to make it. It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. Until you have had the taste of finishing, you will not respect yourself. Until you follow through, until something is done, come hell or high water, tears and struggles and pain, and you go through it anyway, and you show up and you continue to fight on, no matter the circumstances, after a while, something begins to wither inside of you. Anytime you need something that you can't give to yourself, you're at the mercy of somebody else, and when they don't come through, you got pain. And what you become is the consequences of what you didn't get. It's an urge. It's an urge. Truth be told, every champion has felt it. Every president has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every lion has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier 
has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge to quit. Don't you give up on your dream. I don't care if you don't have the money, you don't have the help, and you don't have the family for it, and you don't have the background for it, and you don't have the friends for it, don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much, but don't you quit. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. Be aware that there will be people and circumstances that will challenge you and try to discourage you from pursuing your dreams. Do not let them. We all have things that we're believing for, dreams that we want to accomplish, problems we're hoping will turn around. Maybe it's to see our family restored, to lose some weight, to break an addiction, to start our own business. But sometimes as it goes on, month after month, even year after year, and we don't see anything changing, it's easy to get discouraged and think, it's never gonna happen. This is as good as it gets. I'll just learn to live with it. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter. Think, why is this happening to me? Sometimes we look at pieces in our lives that don't make sense. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. Every painful time, even though you don't like it, it's developing something in you that can only be developed in the tough times. Eventually, that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. In those tough times, when you're uncomfortable, going through a loss, dealing with an illness, you could easily let it overwhelm you. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. I may not like it, but I'm not a whiner. I'm a warrior. I know I can handle this. Don't complain about the pain. Without the pain, we couldn't reach the fullness of our destinies. Sometimes we bring pain on ourselves. We make poor choices, get in a relationship we know is not good, or maybe get over our head in our spending. Now it's painful. We're having to deal with the consequences. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. Difficulties are a part of life. Now quit telling yourself you can't take it. You're not weak. You are well able. Eventually, the pain will pass. You'll give birth to new strength. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. And there will always be forces trying to convince us to settle where we are. Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. They can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes, there are dreams buried under divorce, buried under low self-esteem. 
And it's easy to settle for mediocrity even though we have all this potential buried on the inside. What are you remembering? The hurt, the pain, what didn't work out? Turn it around and remember your dream. Have you allowed any dreams to get buried in you? At one time, you believed you could do something great. You believed you could lead the company in sales. You believed you could break that addiction. And it's been a long time, had some bad breaks, wasn't all your fault. You could easily settle where you are. Nobody would fault you. The enemy would love to deceive you into burying your dream, thinking that it's never gonna work out. Don't believe those lies. It's not too late to become all that you were created to be. Every time you remember your dream, you're removing some dirt. You're digging it back out. The true mark of a champion is even though some dirt gets thrown on your dream, instead of letting it get buried, you keep shaking it off. You keep moving forward. You wouldn't be having that opposition if you didn't have something great in you. If your dream wasn't alive and on track, right on schedule to come to pass, you wouldn't have so many things coming against you. That dream is still alive. You may have tried a year ago, five years ago, or 40 years ago. Didn't work out. Nobody was there to help you. Go back and try again. This is your time. This is your moment. Your destiny is calling out to you. Can I tell you, your dream is not dead. It's just not in season. Your time is coming. Promotion is coming. Good breaks are coming. Promises you've been standing on. Dreams you've been praying about. Lack is not your destiny. Constantly struggling, barely getting by is not the end of your story. These light afflictions are for a moment. The adversity is temporary. The glory is eternal. there are some dreams shut up in you. Like fire, you're going to feel your destiny calling out. May not have happened the first time. The loan didn't go through. You didn't get chosen for the part. The medical report wasn't good. That's okay, it's still in you. This is your time. This is your moment. Shake off the doubt. Shake off the negativity. You're at the right place. You're at the right time. Now all you've got to do is get in the right frame of mind. Lord, I believe this is my year to get healthy and whole. This is my year to meet the people of my dreams. This is my year to go further in my career, to step into a new level of my destiny. This is my year to accomplish dreams, to break free from this depression. This is my year to meet the right people. This is my year to get healthy and whole. This is your year to see double. This is your year for vindication, for restoration, for new beginnings. Now get your mind going in the right direction. All of us experience discouragement from time to time. Instead of letting the feeling of discouragement stop you, it should be a learning experience and stepping stone to success. E is for excitement. Excitement works like fuel to whatever you choose to do. It builds your confidence. There are a lot of things you can be excited about in your Sante business. The products, the compensation plan, the people you work with, your goals, your personal growth, the relationships you build are all reasons to be excited. Your excitement will carry over to your entire team. And because excitement gets people into action, you will have a more dynamic and productive group. F is for focus. To succeed in your Sante business, you must have undivided focus. Follow one course until successful. To be able to accomplish something, stay away from distractions. You cannot chase two rabbits at the same time. Both will escape. You must set your mind on your goal and work it out every day until it is accomplished. Now that we're done with the ABCs to success, let's talk about how to start with the business. First, complete your enrollment. At Sante, enrollment is done online at santebarley.com. 
By enrolling or signing up as a business owner, you will be able to fully maximize the opportunity that Sante provides. Next, choose your activation pack. You may select from the different business packages depending on the level of commitment that you would like to start your business with. Then, enroll and set up your monthly auto ship. By doing this, you make sure that you don't miss out on your monthly product maintenance requirement. You are also modeling a behavior for your team to follow. Explore your website and be sure to learn about the many features of the system, such as enrolling preferred customers, cash on delivery payment, and free nationwide delivery. You should also download the Sante mobile application that's available for both Android and iOS. This will help you to do your business on the go. Now, familiarize yourself with the function of your back office. To maximize the use of our system, we also recommend that you set up your replicating website. Once you're done with the technical stuff, you may now proceed in writing down your prospects list. Remember not to filter your list. Just write down as many names as you can. You want to include your friends, neighbors, relatives, workmates, and the people that you meet every day. Remember to check your contact list on social media, your phone contacts, and your email contacts, so you don't leave anybody out. After completing your list, it's now time to invite those people to view your third-party tools. By letting them view your third-party tools, you're actually sorting them into four categories the customers, the retailers, the business builders, and those who are not interested. It is important that you let your third-party tools sort your prospects and you do not do it yourself by making your list. After sorting your prospects, it's now time to invite those who responded positively to the next Sante event. Invite them to a home party or to a coffee table meeting. Here, you may sample products and share Sante stories. After this, you now invite them to the next event, the Sante Business Presentation. This is the right event to invite your prospects to have shown interest in the business. This business presentation will answer the question of what Sante is all about. At this point, your prospect may or may not have signed up to the program. Whether they have enrolled or not, the next step is to invite them to the next event. Next to the Sante Business Presentation, you now ask your prospect to attend the Sante Business Owners Orientation. Here they will get the answers to the questions, why Sante and how do I start? Again, at this point, your prospect may or may not have signed up to the program. Whether they have enrolled or not, the next step is to invite them to the next event. The Sante product training is where your prospects will learn all about the Sante products, their benefits, advantages, and features. Aside from those interested in doing the business, this is also the right event for those who are interested in the product, either as a consumer or a retailer. Again, at this point, your prospect may or may not have signed up to the program. Whether they have enrolled or not, the next step is to invite them to the next event. The next event in the Engage Cycle is the Sante Systems Training. This will guide you on how to use the Sante Back Office System or Personal Website Account. By now, your prospect should already be able to make a well-informed decision about joining Sante. It is important for you to follow up on your prospect. Remember that it's best to follow up within 48 hours after your last meeting. One of the most powerful practices in our business is edification. To edify is to build up. It's saying something good about your sponsor, your business partners, Sante, or about direct selling. In our business, edification is helpful anytime we're making an introduction. At the presentation, edifying the speaker properly will set them up as the expert and give your friend added reason to pay attention and receive the information. Without it, your friend may not appreciate the speaker's credibility and they could miss the message. We can understand edification better by looking at the edification triangle. This shows the role that people have to play in the edification process. Let's just say you invite your prospect to a company event and you ask one of your Hall of Famers to share some insights. In this example, you act as the bridge while your prospect is the client and your Hall of Famer is the advisor. As the bridge, your job is to edify the advisor to the client. 
This will give credibility to the advisor. The client now thinks of the advisor as someone worth listening to. And because he trusts you, the bridge connecting the two of them, he will be more open to the message. Here's a simple format we can start with. Pick one to three things about your advisor's achievements and things that you appreciate about them. It is also more powerful when you use their first and last name too. Here's an example. I want you to meet my good friend Jenny Smith. She's an amazing leader and trainer having success in business and she's helping a lot of people. What I love about Jenny is that she's so humble, down to earth, and is a great mom. Before you get started, it's important for you to set your goals. A goal is something you would like to achieve. Setting a goal lets you focus on your desired end result and gives you a target. There are seven steps to setting goals. Just remember the word SMARTER. S stands for specific. The more specific you are, the better you will be able to accomplish your goals. M stands for meaningful. When your goal has a deep enough meaning to you, you'll go out and do whatever it takes to achieve it. A is for achievable. Set goals that you can actually achieve so you can build on your momentum. R is for relevant. Your goals should match with your core values in life. T stands for time-bound. You have to set an exact date on when you plan to achieve your goals. E stands for evaluate. Consistently evaluate your goals. R is for readjust. Readjust your approach, methods, and your techniques to achieving your goal. Now that you are ready to start, be sure that you start strong. Be involved in your Sante business and participate. Follow a system and be engaged. Engage is Sante's very own system for network building. It has an organized process for you to follow so that you may save yourself time, effort, and money. The goal of Engage is to help you sponsor new people into your business, sell products to your valued customers, and sustain your organization. Engage is all about working hard, smartly. It promotes the use of business building tools such as books, audiobooks, videos, and many more. We hope you've learned a lot from watching this video. Be sure to watch the other videos in the Engage Learning Series. My name is Ian, I'm on grass, and I'm engaged.